Hello, my name is Rachel and here's how you can do research on the internet while staying anonymous to the websites you're on and being able to see things they may have tried to erase in the past. The first of these tools is archive.org. Archive.org's Wayback Machine has been cataloging websites for the past 18 years. Most current websites haven't been in existence that long, but it's still useful to know the Wayback Machine has archives from that long ago if you need them. Let's start with checking out what Yahoo.com used to look like. All the way back in 1996 is when the Wayback Machine began capturing Yahoo.com. Let's see what it looked like back then. It was only captured a few times in that year. Let's take a look at November's. As you can see, they captured underlying links within the page as well. So you can dig right in. So we've gone five steps into the page that they have captured back in 1996. Let's go to 2006. As you can see, it was captured a lot more times during this time frame. Let's go with July. And as you can see here, these timestamps indicate that it was captured multiple times on one day. And this is what Yahoo looked like in 2006. Quite a bit different. Now let's see what it looks like today. As you can see, it was captured even more times today already than it was 10 years ago. And here's the modern looking Yahoo. And right now, Yahoo has no idea I'm looking at their website. As you can see from the URL, it's web.archive.org. This is how you can navigate anonymously and check the history. Let's do the same on the Wayback Machine for MySpace. This was also captured back in 1996 although only one capture back then. Certainly not the MySpace we're used to. There's not a whole lot here. Let's see what it looked like in 2006. As you can see, lots more captures here. Still not quite on the level of Yahoo. Let's go with April 19th. So this is what MySpace looked like back then. Still a little sparse. As you can see here, the login box. Let's see how far down we can navigate in this. Once again, you could dig down deeper into these sites with the archive.org. Now there is a limit. We reached it here. Let's see what it looks like these days. Let's go with middle of July. As you can see here, the many, many times it's been captured on one day. This looks completely different from the way it used to. There is a caveat in that if a site has specifically coded itself to exclude the ability to archive it, the Wayback Machine will not have collected it. We're going to look for Facebook here. And we get a message saying, page cannot be crawled or displayed due to robots.txt. You do have a potential workaround with another tool called Screenshots.com. Screenshots.com takes a photograph of the site, and while it's similar to Archive.org's Wayback Machine and has a more modern-looking interface, you can't navigate deeper than the first page like you can with the Wayback Machine, since it's essentially just an image of the page and hyperlinks no longer exist on it. Let me show you what I mean. As you can see, this was taken July 31st, 2014. Click on it to make it the full screen. You can see this is image 1 of 100. You click on anything, all it does is go back to the next one. So image 2 of 100. We'll navigate backwards and see what it looked like on the first capture. You can see this initial capture. So it looks quite a bit different then. We go here up on the side, you can see when that was taken. 2004. So all of them are cataloged here and you can navigate through, but it's a little bit hard to find a specific date without actually clicking through each and every one of these 100. Now an advantage that screenshots.com has that it hasn't been blocked from capturing some sites the same way that archive.org has been with the robots.txt. So let's take a look at what Facebook looks like when we're looking at it here instead of archive.org. It did capture it. Now it's just the login page, but it did capture it starting in 2004. 
So this is what it was recently. We're going to go backwards to try to hit that first date. And here you can see what it looked like way back when. Moving forward, looks fairly similar. There's a few changes here and there. And every now and then there will be a drastic change. Keep in mind that these archiving tools will not work on portions of sites that have been password protected, such as an individual's social profile on Facebook, MySpace, or Twitter that have been limited to that individual social network alone. Enjoy these two tools that go look at data that no longer exists on these sites and do it anonymously. That's it, folks.